Hi, I'm David Dyke, and I'd like to welcome you to David Dyke Fine Art. Uh, we've been in business since 1986, and our main emphasis is Texas art. Over 100 years of Texas art, from 1860 through the 1970s. And one of the artists that we are featuring right now is a lady named Jenny Haddad, and she was one of the great early American modernist painters that happened to live in or grew up in Texas, attended SMU, and uh, studied with Otis Dozier, and then in 1954, she moved to Provincetown and studied with Hans Hoffman, who was one of the great abstract expressionist painters. And these are some of the works that she did in the late 50s. And we've got a number of her paintings up uh, currently on display at the gallery. And we are gonna have a few of her works in our auction. There's some other uh, modernist painters that we have up. This is Dorothy Hood, who was an early Houston artist. And of course, David Bates, who was one of the great painters uh, out of Dallas and studied at SMU as well. But these are some additional uh, Haddads, and she's known for her uh, slab paintings, which is what Hoffman was known for, which means that he, they applied the paint in a very thick textural uh, technique. And uh, this was a painting that was done in 1957. Uh, some of these others that we have on display were done in the 50s as well. This one's called After the Rain, and it's one of my favorites because it's got so much energy and uh, so much color. It's a very happy, uplifting painting. Uh, her work to me is very, very powerful and strong and, and we were excited and honored to be able to have uh, her works on display. She passed away in 1996 and we just got this collection about a year ago and we've been slowly cleaning them up and reframing them and getting them ready to display. Another artist that we represent is some of the, uh, one of the early Texas artists is Porfirio Salinas. And this is a great painting that'll be in our upcoming auction in October, on October 30th of this year. And this is a large mural painting that he did when he was stationed at Fort Sam Houston in 1944. And of course it depicts the, uh, the Texas Hill Country. And he was able to capture the light and the beauty of the Hill Country, unlike any other artist, because he grew up in Texas and really understood the light and the color of the Texas Hill Country. We'll go back to my office and I'll show you some of the early traditional paintings that we have uh, in the gallery. This is a Rebo Bassett, who's very well known for his wildlife paintings. He was born in 1897 and he was noted for painting out in East Texas at a Little Sandy. And he, this is a scene that he painted out in Little Sandy in the 1930s. This is a painting I sold back in 1991 and now it's come back uh, to the gallery. Uh, one of the paintings I'm very excited about that we just got in is this uh, Grace Spalding John. It was painted in the 1920s. It's called Afternoon Tea. It's sold through Blaffer Robinson Gallery in Houston in uh, the 1990s and then it sold through Iris Spaniman Gallery. We just uh, got this painting out of a collection in Michigan, which uh, they purchased it from Spaniman Gallery. Another great Texas artist is Julian Otterdonk, who's kind of a legendary painter. He was born in 1882 and died in 1922. This is called The Old Live Oak and it was painted in 1911. Uh, very nice example of his work. And then after, uh, Otterdock passed away. Some other artists came onto the scene, such as Porfirio Salinas and Robert Wood. This is a very nice blue bonnet by Robert Wood that was painted back in the 1920s. And we also have a great Florence McClung. She was an early Dallas painter, known for her genre scenes that were painted around the Dallas area. And we were just got this painting in as well. But most of what we handle are artists from the uh, from Texas and uh, modernist painters and, and traditional painters and. I want to thank uh, Cassetta for allowing us to give this presentation and to introduce our gallery. And we're excited about the uh, upcoming uh, symposium in early October. I'd like to thank Howard Taylor. I'd like to thank Tierra Jenkins, who's been our valuable director for the last three years. And uh, anyway, come see us at 2613 Fairmount here in Dallas, Texas.